Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Look at here. I have received a OBD2 scan tool to review. Let's check it out. See what it does on Byron's car. We know Byron's got some errors. Look over these instructions. Hook it up. See what it finds about his ETM and his ABS light. Those are the two things that's plaguing this car right now. This is the 99 Volvo V70R. The first year of Volvo's, I think it's called a CAN network bus system. And these cars are a little bit harder to diagnose because of that. So I tell people you need this special Volvo tool to find the errors reset things and just troubleshoot these cars in general so i'm gonna check this out hook it up see what it finds out about this car's issues i guess this would be considered a middle of the road scanner it says what's cheaper is not as good what's better is not as cheap so let's see how it looks here it is out of the package nice compact size it's actually smaller than my hand so let's go ahead and pull this off the end of it, plug it in, turn the ignition on, see how this thing works. It also has a way you can update it online. It's got this USB cord with this mini connector. I think that's considered mini connector. So you can update this thing on their website. One of the things they brag about, which I kind of like, is that it has good emissions testing. We'll see how that works and it also has live data and freeze frame data so let me go ahead and plug it in turn this ignition on see what it finds out about this V70R seems to already have power without the ignition being on so that port is already given power let's go ahead and turn the ignition on see what happens from there ignition on car not running now diagnose let's hit the OK button Oh man, the screen is nice and visible. Processing, it's searching for the vehicle protocol. Found the vehicle protocol. DTCs in this ECU is two. Dang, it already did some kind of stand. Readiness, okay, five. Readiness, INC, two. Readiness, NA, three. Downstream count, 17. Wow, that was pretty neat. It scanned the car. I hit down and it went to read codes. Vehicle information, evap system, onboard monitoring. Let's go up to read codes. O2 sensor test. Wow, that's awesome. So let's go up here to read codes. I'm going to hit OK. I guess this is the back button. Throttle pedal position sensor. Circuit A. That's a P0121 code. Uh, Volvo did give that code. It don't have a P code in the Volvo system, but it is that. Generic code, same thing. Range performance. Oh, that's the second part of that code. Now, here's another code. O2 circuit, no activity detected. Bank 1, sensor 1. So, those are the two codes in the system. I hit back, it went back to the previous screen. I can erase those. It says OK. Hit OK again. Turn the ignition on with the engine off. Press the key to continue. Press the enter key. I guess OK is the enter key. Processing. It has been cleared. OK. Alright, so I'm going to start the car, see if the service light's on. And then I'm going to see if this scanner will clear the service light. The car cranked, started for a second, and died. Which is common when there's OBD2 scanners plugged into this thing. Let me try to start it again. Yeah, these cars don't like to start with certain scanners plugged into them. Let me unplug the scanner and start the car. Ignition off. Scanner unplugged. Let me go ahead and try to start it. Car started up. We got some kind of ABS code. I need to check that. ETM light went out. 
that'll probably be back with this car hunting like this. Let's scan it, see if we can find the ABS code. So I'm gonna try to scan for ABS code, see what it says, cause I'm gonna have a wheel off. If it's on that wheel, I'm gonna check it out for damaged wires or a sensor or whatnot. If you go back to the home screen, you have an option to look up codes. So I'm gonna hit okay. P, you go up to change the position. Zero, one, 21. Hit OK. Generic throttle pedal position circuit. Same thing that the code reader gives you. However, if someone calls you with the code, you may be able to plug this in and look up a code for them. I could not find a place to check my ABS. So I would call this an entry level scanner reader. I consider some level two and some level three. This is just entry level scan check general codes. It doesn't appear to get into the ABS system. Might be something good to carry around with you just to check and scan codes. Especially good for checking emission stuff and your O2 sensor reading. So let's go see what it'll say about O2 sensor stuff. Do 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 O2 sensor test. We only got one O2 sensor. Bank one sensor one. Bank one sensor two is downstream. I'm gonna hit OK. Minimum max it passed. Okay, that's good. Let's see if there's another test it'll do. It passed that one. Test 82 data. Test 83 data. Passed on that one. I don't know what those values mean. But it's saying that O2 sensor is good. So that's a good thing. Alright. So you can actually test your O2 sensors with this. And you can check your readiness which is a very important thing for checking before you go to the emissions test since it was cleared. Some of these things should be incomplete because I cleared these codes. So there you have five out of seven. So this car will have to go on the drive cycle to become totally ready. Do, 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 do. And there's a freeze frame. Vehicle does not support freeze frame. And there should be a live data. That may be data stream. Should tell car temp, all that kind of stuff. Fuel system. It is 8 out of 15 RPMs. Nine out of 12, 13 out of 15. See if it has vehicle voltage. Math airflow sensor that doesn't have a reading there. Spark advance throttle position RPMs. I don't see a voltage. Okay, it has some good information there. Let's exit. There you have it. Nice entry level little compact scanner. That completes my review of this scanner. Again, I can. Consider this a entry level scanner. It connects to the car relatively quick. It has a nice small compact size, a very clear display, and an advanced reading of your readiness system when it comes to passing emissions testing. For any OBD2 scanner costing under $40, this is probably a great deal. If you look in the description area, there is a link 
to purchase the product on Amazon. They are having a promotional sale on it. So if you do not own a scanner and you want something to get basic emission codes, I think this will be a great buy. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.